my role um, incorporates uh, a very big creative element with a business understanding. Um, I'd say it's more of an understanding than ultimately responsibility because I have a team of very well-equipped lawyers um, who make sure that I don't get into deep water and make too many business commitments. It, it's understood that I lead the department creatively. There's a brief honeymoon period in development where it's almost entirely creative and, and that's probably exclusively happening at places like BBC Films. I'd say that in, in another commercial entity, even development is, is full of commercial um, business um, considerations. But as I say, for us, we have a, possibly a honeymoon period where it's almost entirely exclusively creative. And then fairly quickly, the business side of things comes into play and you can't really continue in a vacuum as if there are no business concerns because otherwise you know you're not really living in the real world and you may not get your film made so uh, I think it's sort of creative 60% business 40 initially it's all about is this feasible will the marketplace support it can we fund it and how do we go about doing that and then beyond that it's it's really about being smart about the best way to get your film up and running and out there. So you might have a fantastic director, you might have a great cast, great script, all the things that you need. But if you're not with the right distributor, if you're not with the right, the right sales agent who's going to present the project properly in, in, at, at market and in the festivals and so on, and, and uh, if you're not with the right distributors who are going to have a really strong sense of how to promote your film and how to distribute it, then you know it could it could die. You need as much business acumen as you need kind of creative nous. In terms of doing a deal, obviously um, you want to surround yourself with canny people and you know again um, I think that the, the motto in, in, in film is get a good lawyer. Um, <laughs> the lawyers at some point really take over and so you don't want to be blinded by science. You need to know what it is they're talking about at the same time it's probably a bit eccentric unless you're a trained lawyer to take it on yourself. You sort of need to find a way of, of um, uh, you need to know whether you're, you need to know what you don't know and then you need to find good people who can help you with the um, uh, knowledge gaps. I'd like to think that my leadership style is light touch. Um, that comes with some um, cost actually which is that you fundamentally want to empower your team you want to give them their head let, let them feel that they're responsible for certain tasks and being responsible means that you're not breathing down their necks the corollary of that for me is that there are moments when I will feel very anxious about whether I've lightened things up too much and I don't have control and I should have control because if I'm not absolutely on it and controlling it I can't guarantee its outcome so the answer to that is, is, is try and make sure that you've got a very good team and, and that's an evolving process. If you're working with good people, then keep the dialogue flowing both ways. The best career advice I've ever received was probably from Peter Morgan, the writer, who I've worked with extensively. Um, I remember um, talking to him about some anxieties I had about what I was doing next or where I was headed or where I fitted into a particular structure. And he just said, um, just worry about the projects. And I think deep down I knew that that was fundamentally how I worked anyway. But it was a really good reminder. If you put your energy, your passion, your attention into the work, literally the, the work as the piece, the project, I find for myself that um, other things sort of fall into place. They, they kind of have to around the end game, which is the movie, the television series, whatever. If I, if I fret personally too much about strategy or structure or, you know, I'm taking my all the vital energy and, and input away from the thing that matters most. Experience is a great thing, but it doesn't mean that you know the answers. It just helps you find roots to things and, and 
um, ways of doing things. So um, I think keeping your curiosity alive and being able to ask questions, to get help, to get experts to explain what it is that they do um, and not to be ashamed of asking questions is, is vital, however experienced you are.